The street protest was as a way of expressing their anger. The residents of Nambo Beach, Bondo sub-county say they were angry. Nothing was being done about the on and off wrangles between them and neighboring Uganda. The latest one today involving the arrest of three Kenyan police officers and four fishermen by Ugandan policemen. Watoto wangu walienda kutafuta jana. Mmoja alienda kuvua na mmoja ni mdogo naye huwa anapeleka officers ku patrol. Walishi, nilisikia walishi kwa huko. Mary Adhiambo, whose two sons, fishermen, were arrested asking government to intervene. The officers were arrested and disarmed by the Uganda People Defense Force soldiers near Mageta and Hama Islands in Lake Victoria and taken to the neighboring country by boat. Waganda waka jiami, waka wasaround. Na wakashikwa. Sasa ripoti ya kushikwa tulipata kama tayari wamefika kwa Hama Highland kwenyewe. Sasa chujiwa kwa waje. Kwa kuwa na sikiati walitolewa wali nguo. Wa, yula liyekuwa na officers walitolewa nguo. Wakapigwa plus officers pia walipigwa. Sasa chujiwa mahali wako wako na mnagani. Witnesses say the officers' guns and phones were taken away. The UPDF, who were heavily armed, first stopped five Kenyan boats and took away their engines. The Rural Border Patrol Unit Police, who patrol the lake, are said to have been overpowered by the heavily armed Ugandans in the more than an hour of confrontation. Wakati askari wetu wanaenda kule barini, wanaona kama wanazuilewa kwa ile njama yao ya kulagai wa Kenya na ni jambo ambalo imefanyika kwa muda hii ni barua kutoka URA watu wanashikwa kama una 30000 unapelekwa URA na impose fine kubwa na ukiangalia hii barua from URA sigulu unaangalia na act yenyewe yenye wanakuchaja nayo hakuna mali inasema kitu kama hiyo Gideon Ochanda, member of parliament for Bondo, has written a petition to the East African Legislative Assembly requesting IALA to consider the matter and enable shared resources. The petition saying in part, shared waters are not by a ruler drawn straight lines Y in the manner done by colonial masters in a boardroom. The attack comes barely a week after 10 fishermen from Kuoyo Beach were arrested for allegedly transpassing on the foreign waters. In November last year, the foreign ministry had to intervene after 17 fishermen in Homer Bay were arrested and detained in Uganda over illegal fishing. Masi Kandia Tanui, Citizen TV.